Welcome guys to episode 2 of tutorial time and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you a lot of error fixes. So I've got a nice little list over here that I made for you guys. So the first error is unable to access craftbucket.jar so we'll get that one over and done with because that's the simplest one. Right, so the reason you have this problem is because you've renamed it .jar or you've done a typo in it or something. So if, it, if you've got yours looks a bit like that but these don't say .bat at the end of them, you don't need the .jar. Just look at the extensions of other things. If that if your run dot bat does not say, you know, run dot bat and it just says run, run me or something like that, then you don't need the dot jar. And this will give you the first error on able to access craftbucket.jar. So if we just simply rename that to craftbucket, your server will gladly work for itself. So let's delete these a second. Alright, almost eh, highlight, god damn it. Delete that. So, first one is a good to go. So I'll just put a little mark next to it, means it's done. Right, error. Error occurred during installation of virtual machine. Could not reserve enough uh, space for object heap. So, that would be this error. So, how do I fix it? Um, yeah. So, how much gig of RAM do you have? Ask yourself that. And you're like, oh, I don't know. Right, go to start, go to computer. Oh no, sorry about that. Go to start, go to right click computer, go to properties, and it should tell you right there 8 gig. So you, if you're running a server, you want to allocate at least half of that or under half of it. You don't really want to allocate more than half. So I'm just going to do half. So how do you know? You can't just put 8, you know, because it just won't work. So I have a list here that will be in the description of all the memories of RAM. Anything less than that, you just half it. So one. That would be for 500, for 500 mega of RAM, it would be 512, for 250, 256, I think. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, so we'll just dedicate 4 gig to my server, because we need to fix it. So, right-click, edit, where it says XMS, change that. Right-click, paste, and where it says XMX, change that again. Paste like that. Save it. And then run it. Hey, and what do you know? Your server's now perfectly running fine again. So if I just delete these again, we simply don't need them. Right, so we've fixed that error. The next error is Java is not recognized as an internal command. The simple fix to that one is install Java JRE. Just because you have Java does not mean you have the JRE edition of it. So. How, how do I know which one I've got to install? So we go to Java, JRE, SE downloads, come, and then we go to JRE. Link will be in the description for this page. Okay, so you're thinking, eh, just download any one of these, accept, blah, 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 download. Okay, no. You want to find out which version of Windows you got. So go to Start, Computer, Local DC. Here, if you have two program files, one with bracket x86 bracket or program files, so if you have both of them, you want the 64 bit. So you want to download that one Windows 64 bit 31.18 meg uh, JRE 7U9 Windows X 64.exe. Download that one. If you're on 32 bit, because you don't have both of these, you just have program files, you want to download the offline Windows x86 offline 29 meg, 29.72 meg. And you want to download the exe. Do not download the tar.gz because that is for Linux and I don't know why it's on Windows. So that will fix that error. Okay, so I'll just put a little minus to that. I'll just put it further down then. Failed to bind port. Right, this one could be two possible things. First one is you've done this. No, actually, yeah. Close that. Right, you've clicked the craft bucket there like that. You tried to run the server. No, there we go. Failed to bind port. So, you're wondering, okay, why close that, try again, try again, okay, what, why are you doing that? So, what you're going to do is just open Task Manager up, go to Processes, look for Java, Java w.exe, click End Process, end it, and then simply run your server again. Hey, what do you know, it's working. And the other way around it is if you're port forwarding, you know, you've port forwarded your server, Okay, and you've typed in your IPv4 address in here, so I'm just going to do 192.168.0.5. I don't know, that's not actually mine, so good luck. Um, so, you've typed in that, you've done it like that, you're thinking, yeah, I need to do that, you know, I've got to do it with Hamachi. 
No, as you can see, I got failed to bind port again because you don't need your IP address in there. And now you're thinking, okay, what IP do I need in there? Okay, so for non, for Hamachi, Hamachi people who host a Hamachi server, you need your Hamachi IP in there. For people who have port forwarded, you leave this blank completely. Do not even type in an IP into that or any number whatsoever. Edit around it. So, anyway guys, that is it for my error fixes. If you've got any more errors, please drop them in the comments and I'll look through them and how to fix them. And maybe do a part two to this. I don't know yet. So, thank you for watching and I hope this fixes a lot of your server issues.